Hey, this is Justin, you're watching wingsound.com. All right, so you have a huge session with a lot of effects. Well, this video in Pro Tools 8, I'm gonna show you how to balance or print your effects so you can serve CPU power and it makes you make decisions to get your mixes done a lot faster. Check it out. Okay, so I have these two samples here and I wanna send those to an effect and then bounce them. So what you do is you create an auxiliary track, which I've done already and named Effect Return. And I've sent those samples through bus one, two. And on that aux, I've uh, put the input to bus one and two and instantiated the sci-fi plugin. Now I'm going to play it with and then without the plugin. Okay, so one way to do it is you could solo up those tracks, go to file and then bounce the disc. This is great, it works, but it's going to bounce the whole song. And sometimes you don't want to do that. Sometimes you just want sections of the song. And this would be the way to do that. You, What you do is you create a new audio track, which I've also already done. And I've named Effect Bounced. And what you do, go to your selected tracks. Just hold Shift and click on them. And then Shift Option will do whatever you want to those selected tracks. So what I want to do is... So send those selected tracks to another bus that I'm not using in this case it'll be three and four okay so now all and then you go to the new audio track that you've created and you make the input bus three and four which I've already done so now all those tracks are being sent to this new audio track where you can record it and then bounce it. Okay, so now here is my effect bounce. Now that works out great, but with that track is also the dry samples now if you want to just record the wet your effect or you do the same thing except you take away the buses from the sample tracks and just leave the bus on that aux track and the same thing's going to happen you just arm it for record and then record it so now this audio file here is just the effect return. So this is great. You still have your original dry audio and then you have your effect bounced, your wet, and you can blend them all together and make your mix happen. Okay, so I have six drum tracks here and I wanna make a drum group. So what I can do is I can go to track group or command G and it brings up my create group screen. And then I physically have to click on them to add them to the group. Or what you can do is hold shift and select the tracks that you want in the group, command G, and then they're already in that group. So all you gotta do is name it. So this is drums, choose which, choose which type, your edit mix or edit and mix, which basically affects whatever window you're working in, the edit or mix window. The ID, I'm gonna, you could choose a letter, I'm gonna choose D to go with drums, and you could choose what you want linked within the groups, mutes, solos, send mutes, send levels. Now at any time, okay, so my group is created, and at any time, you can click on one of the group uh, tracks, and you can modify it, which you can add or take away any tracks from that group, Maybe you don't want the mutes anymore. You can deselect that. And you could also hide them or show only tracks in the group and arrange your window the way you want to work. Okay, so the faders are all linked within your group. The solos, the mutes, and automation is also linked. And I'm going to record some automation with the groups enabled. Okay, so 
as you can see over here my automation was created with all the within all the tracks that are in the group and also if you want to deselect your groups to maybe adjust one fader level instead of the instead of all of them and maybe you just want to solo one track or mute one track or just automate on one track you go to that group and you do shift command g and it deselects that group so now all your faders and your solos and your panning and is all by itself and then if you want to reselect that group it's um shift command g again and then it reselects your group you can always get in touch with Justin at winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at winksound.com.